Yo, what is up? It's Joshua Casper here. Welcome to a Max for Live video tutorial. I'm working inside Ableton Live 9 and I'm just so excited about Max for Live and I wanted to just to jump in and just start making crazy stuff. But that bad boy is super complicated, okay? So, um, I had to watch so many videos to start even beginning to learn how to do stuff. So I figured I'd make a set of basically Max for Live 101 tutorials and just start with the very, very basic stuff. Basic, basic, basics. Because I learn best by just getting in and doing stuff and then kind of, instead of listening to long, breathy explanations, I just like to see how it's done and then I do it myself and then I play around and figure it out. And that way I encode it in my brain the way I want to remember stuff. It might not always be right, it might not always be perfect, but hopefully I'll learn a better way in the future, but I like to just get started. So without talking anymore, we're gonna make our very first uh, Max for Life device and we're gonna save it and it's gonna be super dope. So um, what I have here is just some audio and I've used this audio in uh, earlier tutorials. I've shown you how to make it in um, Massive, and I'll leave links for that if you want to go check it out, but I've just panned it to the left. So this is the audio that we have. And you can see that it's just panned to the left. You can even see it here visually. So what I want to do is add a Max for Live audio effect to this bad boy. And then it's just going to give this audio effect for me down here, and I'm going to come in click this bad boy, it opens up my window, and um, I've got my little editor here. And just for this very simple first tutorial, we're going to make it so um, the audio switches from the left to the right. And uh, not going to be able to adjust how much or how little or anything else like that. We're just going to add it to switch it. Just very quickly switch from right to left. So I've got my in in my out here. So this is the audio coming in from live into this little plug-in. As you can see it's shooting down into the uh, uh, plug out and then it goes back into the audio. And I've got my left and my right channels here. What I'm going to do is click on this bad boy and then just pull it over. And then I'm going to click on this bad boy and just pull it over. And boom! If we play it now the audio is going to be panned to the right. And I'm going to close the inspector here and we'll see that the audio will be up here and down here. Isn't that dope? So if I come back in and I want to save this now. So I'm going to hit lock it to, to lock it down and I'm going to freeze it. And then I'm going to go to file, save, and it's going to bring up my save as. And I'm going to close this. Oh, I guess I have to save it to close it. I'm just going to title this untitled. That's fine. I'm going to come delete it later. And now this is it. This is what my device looks like. Now in the future we're going to get into making it look pretty. We're going to get into making um, an adjustment knob so I can adjust how much it's the pan going from the left to the right. But right now this is just essentially a stereo swapper. And if I want to leave it on um, just regular and turn it on to swap it. And boom, we've made our first useful uh, device. I was looking how to do this in Ableton Live 8 forever. And um, you have to do, I, they said that there was a preset. I couldn't find the preset. They said to use the utility. And it just seemed super complicated to, to make this effect happen. But now we have a device saved in Master Live for swapping the audio from left to right. So I'm not sure what my next tutorial will be, but it will be either a build on on this audio swapper or something else very similar and very simple. So um, I guess we're going to just get started and just start making cool stuff. Anyway, we'll see you next time.